Good afternoon, book lovers of the internet. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe because for every subscriber, I get a new subscriber and I also read a page from a book of my choice. So I just got back from having a very delectable burger. And in today's video, I am going to be reviewing this book by Scott Lang called Look Out for the Little Guy, which is the official memoir of Ant-Man. So I rated this one four stars and it has about 170 pages. Um, if you saw yesterday's video, you'll know that I bought this in Gozo. Um, so two days ago now. And I must admit that I don't have a book quite like this one. In fact, it is the only book of this sort I have because it's neither a fiction book nor a non-fiction book. And it's a memoir of a guy who doesn't exist, basically. However, Paul Rudd, who is the actor for Ant-Man, is on the cover. And um, yet he is Scott Lang. And uh, no part of the book indicates that there's another author involved, but the author is using Scott Lang as a pen name. And um, it was quite a pleasant read, if I have to be honest. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be such a breath of fresh air for the Marvel Universe. It's been a while since I saw something that I enjoyed from the the MCU. And um, it's, it's quite insane to have this sort of book and to have read so much in the past, yet to have never read a book quite like this one. Um, I basically buy anything and everything that's Marvel related, and this one was no exception. And I also found it at a reasonable price, which I wasn't expecting from Agenda, um, <clears throat> which is our leading bookstore here in Malta. Um, as you know, I buy a lot of books, and um, I wasn't going to shy away from buying this one because it was perfect to end the year off with. Um, Lang is the sort of Avenger who is both caring and funny, yet is also simultaneously clumsy and precise. Perhaps he gets lucky sometimes, kind of like a Deadpool sort of character, but without all the cussing. Um, he has a character that's quite difficult to describe because despite it being so consistent, uh, there are a lot of surprises with the, the little guy. Um, in this memoir, he recounted the Thanos battle from his point of view, and um, we didn't get to see much of that in Infinity War as well as in Endgame. And um, he also mentioned how he was heartbroken to delve into his feelings regarding the death of Tony Stark or Iron Man. And I have a feeling that I would have um, acted just the same way. Um, this book is meant to be motivational, kind of like... Um, a David Goggins sort of deal um, in terms of cheesiness. However, it's not quite um, as much. It's more about being a parent and being a hero and um, which one is more difficult to do. How even if you don't have super powers, you can be a hero and that sort of stuff. Quite generic stuff considering that it's a superhero book at the end of the day. And this was also in the, in the movie of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which I watched at the cinema. And um, I've been meaning to buy this for quite a long time now, and I was very happy to, to find it in Gozu. It was completely coincidental. I had no plans of buying this uh, before I actually saw it in stores. Um, although it's meant to be motivational, and um, it is also very metaphorical because he uses big guy and small or little guy as a moral code rather than in their literal sense, as is the case in the Ant-Man movies. And it is also what makes the Ant-Man movies fun to begin with, the fact that you can go from being quantum-sized to being uh, gigantic. Um, however, it's more of a moral sort of book that um, you can either be a little guy being uh, trampled upon by the bigger guy in a company, you have to stand up for yourself, you have to be helpful when you... Um, feel as though other people are being threatened or treated incorrectly, uh, that sort of deal. Um, it is quite a short read because, as you can see, it only has about 170 pages, even though on Goodreads the page count is incorrect for this one. And um, it is also filled with images from the movies, though, of course, Ant-Man or Scott Lang can never blatantly mention that he is a part of the movies because he does not know about the movies. It's just his life he's living. And um, he can't really break that fourth wall, uh, much like Deadpool does in, in that sense. Um, very canon and clever read. And even the praise for the book is all by characters in the MCU. If you take a look at the back over here, 
you will see characters you're very familiar with, probably uh, Dr. Bruce Banner, Sam Wilson, Stephen Strange, Clint Barton, and Christine Everhart. Um, all characters from the MCU praising how great the book is, which was a lovely addition, um, a lovely, lovely thing to add to to this sort of book. Um, I suppose there wasn't much here that I didn't already know since I've watched all the movies and the MCU, at least up until Endgame and a few, um, a few of them after that one. And um, yeah, um, I understood all the references he made, but I suppose it did make the events that took part during Infinity War and Endgame sound more reasonable in the sense that everything happens with purpose and uh, for a reason, and without certain experiences, other opportunities would never have presented themselves. So perhaps those events that in life might seem unfair to us, they still all happen for a reason, and uh, we should be thankful that they happened because without them, other opportunities would have never presented themselves, and I suppose that is what this book is mainly about. Anyway, that's all I had to say about Scott Lang's Look Out for the Little Guy, the official memoir of Ant-Man. Um, four stars, 170 pages. Uh, thank you so much for 1,400 subscribers, and I hope to soon make it to 1,500. Um, if you enjoyed this uh, video, make sure to leave a like, uh, comment, share, subscribe, check out the rest of my channel. Um, you'll find something interesting all over the place. And uh, let me know whether I can improve anything because I'm always looking for feedback as long as it's constructive and not hateful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one hopefully very, very soon. Bye guys.